the girl versus Lucien Boutte. James the girl gets the uh, what does it get like a majority decision? Yeah, unanimous decision, man. Unanimous decision versus Lucien Boutte. Um, it was a twelve round fight. Went all twelve rounds. Uh, it was it was a great fight to me. It was a great fight. It was a very entertaining fight. Lucian Butte, I don't know what he was taking. I don't. I I don't know. I he just looked. He looked, he looked good. He looked way better than he did in his last fight, man. He was game. I think a little bit was like James DeGale. and then I think a lot of it was like this Lucian Butte being motivated. The fight was in his hometown. He was like, "This is my belt. I'm gonna. I want to get my belt back," and. I I think that's where you know a lot of it you know stemmed from. So, he, and then you know big ups to James the Gale, man. He's just like, man, I want to be known as the Road Warrior. You know, I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> he was like uh, the come on the color commentator state. He's like, yeah, he's just being honest. He's like, he came here. For, he came, uh, you know, to Quebec. I think it was like who would they fight? Like Quebec. Yeah, they they fought in Quebec, Canada. Because like they had a lot of money, <laughs> you know, they offered him a lot of money to fight, and so um, that's very brave for like James Gill, man. James Gill, you know, he did say he was gonna make a fight of it. That's what he did. Uh, he was a switch hitter all night, and uh, to me, I think he was effective. Um, you know, that jab was looking good at some point in the night, man. He should have pumped that jab just a little bit more. But he, I mean, he did work, man. He did work. He a lot of great body shots from uh, Butte too, man. Butte landed some good uppercuts to the body, man. Some good ones. I thought he was gonna have James Gill out a few times of up in the fight because he had like he had gave him a body shot, and all you see was like James Gill just look at him and just like back up, and Butte was like, "Oh, let me press the fight now. You know, this now is my time." And so that was pretty funny to me, man. But um, yeah, man. Uh, let me know what y'all think, man. I mean, where does where does James the Gale go after this performance? Um, do do you feel as if anybody wants to fight him after this performance? Cause he made he did make a fight of it. I don't know what the hell he's gonna do after this. Uh, maybe Callum Smith. Maybe a domestic fight with like Callum Smith or something. That would be good, man, you know, because he, I mean, he fought twice overseas. He fought Anthony Durrell, Lucien Boutte, you know, uh, I don't think he should do Groves or Martin Murphy. No, I mean, he shouldn't do those guys. I don't think he should do that. Uh, I think he should probably should just go back to uh, the UK and maybe fight Rocky Fielding. Well, not Rocky Fielding because he just lost, but at least at least Callum Smith, Callum Smith. But they they were saying they wanted him to fight Badu Jack. So I guess Badu Jack's next, man. I don't know why not. He's in the top five. They both got belts. And then I would like to see him fight Arthur Abraham. So Badu Jack, Arthur Abraham, then maybe Callum Smith. If Kyle Smith even had got does Kyle Smith even have a belt though? No, I don't think he got a belt, man. Let's let's check and see, man. I'm a box wreck right now. Box wreck. Let's see if Kyle Smith has a belt. Uh no, he's he's like a contender, man. He's got the WBC silver silver belt. But I mean he's got the British belt. Super middleweight title belt, so that's something. He's the number one guy coming out of the UK. But, you know, James DeGale has something to say about that. But, alright, man, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.